Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode, where in this video we're going to learn what a Docker bridge network is. So to begin, let's talk about what a Docker network is. So Docker networks are networks that establish communication between Docker containers and also between Docker containers and the outside world. This communication is done through the host machine that the Docker daemon is running on. Docker supports different network types, and one of these network types is a bridge network. So what is a Docker bridge network? Well, a bridge network consists of a bridge, which can be either hardware or software, that forwards traffic between network nodes. A Docker bridge network consists of a software bridge that connects Docker containers. Docker containers that are not connected to the bridge network are isolated from the network. The Docker bridge network is also the default network that Docker provides. So for example, in this image here, we can see the default bridge network Docker has we could say we have two containers on it, both connected to a gateway, and we have our own and our own user-defined bridge called my network, which is isolated. You can see behind my head, both networks are isolated, and we have more containers connected to this one. And of course, we'll see more of this with a live demonstration. But so let's create a Docker bridge network, or focus on creating one. So when Docker, when Docker starts up, a bridge network called bridge is created by default. We can list the Docker networks using the Docker network ls command. So here we can see we have some network IDs, the name of them, the driver, which basically means type of Docker network, and also the scope. And we can see the driver here for the type bridge network, which is the default network that Docker creates called bridge. And now we can get more information about a specific network with the command docker network inspect and then provide it the network, network name. And here, the network name is the name of the network that we want to inspect. So let's inspect the default bridge network. So some important information from this here is the subnet right here, and also the gateway. So a subnet is basically just a network inside a network. And specifically to Docker, the subnet is the network used by the Docker daemon. By default, Docker uses the 172.17.0.0.16 subnet range. A gateway is either software or hardware that is an entry and exit point of a network. We can see our gateway is 172.17.0.1. And now, before we go any further, let's create our own Docker bridge network. So we can create a Docker bridge network with the Docker network create and then provide it a network name command. and we'll return the ID of the network. Now let's clear this. And now if we list our Docker networks, we can see my network and the driver as bridge. It's right here, name my network, and the type of it is bridge. And this is because by default, Docker networks are bridge networks if no network type is supplied. So when we created the Docker network with this command here, we didn't supply a Docker network type, so the default bridge is used. Now let's talk about adding and removing Docker containers from a Docker network. So whenever a container is created, it is connected to the default bridge network if no network is provided. To demonstrate, let's create a simple Alpine Docker container and execute a shell in it with the docker run command. So just to go over this command a bit, name gives a name to the container, dash D runs the container in the background and also prints its ID, dash I here keeps the standard input of the container open, and dash T allocates a pseudo TTY, which basically makes the container look like a terminal connection session. But now let's inspect the Docker default bridge network and check the container's property. So this container's property here lists the Docker containers connected to the network. And so now we can see our Alpine container, so my Alpine container, along with the IP address it is accessible on. We can disconnect a Docker container from a network by using the command docker network disconnect, provide the network name, and then the container name. So as a demonstration, let's just disconnect this container, my Alpine container, from the network. So Docker network disconnect from the bridge network, my Alpine container. And now let's list them again. 
we inspect our bridge network, now our containers property is empty. And now let's add this Alpine container to the network we created by using the command docker network connect. And then we provide the network name and the container name that we want to connect to the network. And now let's inspect our network. And now let's inspect our user defined network. And we can see the container, my Alpine container, is now part of this network. And now we can also add a Docker container to a network on creation. And we can do this by providing the dash dash network flag to the Docker run command. The dash dash network flag takes the name of the network we want to connect the container to. Let's create another Alpine container and call this one my Alpine container 2. Let's start a shell in it in detach mode and connect it to the network we created. And now let's check what containers are present in our user-defined network by inspecting it. And now within here, we can see two Docker containers, MyAlpine container and also MyAlpine container 2. And we can also see the IP addresses that they're accessible on within that network, the MyAlpine container being at 172.18.0.2, and then MyAlpine container 2 being at 172.18.0.3. And if we look back at our, if we inspect our default network, we can see it's using the range 172.17, whereas our user-defined one is using 172.18. So we can see some isolation there. And now let's get to a more interesting part and let's talk about Docker container communication. So now that we know the IP addresses of each Docker container in our network, let's have them communicate. Let's attach our terminal to one of the Alpine Docker containers by running the command docker attach and provide the container name. And now let's print the IP address of my Alpine container by running hostname i. The hostname command shows the hostname and the dash i flag shows the address of the hostname. And now let's ping the other container on the Docker network with the command ping and then provide it the address where the address is the address of the device we want to send ICMP packets to. So we've pinged our other Docker container, which was at 172.18.0.3. We can see the packets that were sent, eight were transmitted, eight were received, and zero were lost. So our Docker containers are communicating within that user-defined network. Something cool about user-defined networks is we can also ping our other Docker container by its name. This is because explicitly defined Docker bridges, so our user-defined one, provide DNS resolution between containers. The default bridge network does not provide automatic DNS resolution, so this would not work on the default bridge network that Docker creates. But let's ping MyAlpine container 2 by its name. And just like that, we can see we sent four packets to MyAlpine Container 2. All of them were received, and zero of them were lost. So this is something cool that we can do. Now let's exit out of this terminal. And now just the final thing I want to talk about is removing a container from, or removing a Docker network. So we can remove a Docker network with the command docker network rm, and then provide the network name. But of course, we can't remove the network if there are containers already connected. So we would have to disconnect these network, these containers from the network, and then we can remove the network. But so this is my video on Docker networks. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. Besides that, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good one.